outer space after a seven-month flight the u.s pathfinder lands on mars hello everyone i'm natalie Ash. i'm lou waters john holloman will be up for days reporting this story and he's just begun john what's the latest well i gotta tell you uh, lou this, uh, this uh this is amazing this thing happened it uh it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Here's some animation to show you what uh, the Pathfinder probe was it supposed to do as it made its way down to the surface of planet Mars. The uh, parachute was to open first, and then uh, this thing was to turn into a bunch of airbags, which it did precisely at the moment that it was supposed to. Those rockets fired to slow its descent to about 55 miles an hour, and then at 55 miles an hour, it bounced around over the Martian surface in the landing zone, that had been predicted for it um, some uh, more than a year ago. And that's, that's all good news, according to the experts. In mission control, about eight minutes uh, after this hour, when uh, this all happened right according to plan, this was the reaction. <laughs> Shirley, who, uh, who, who runs the uh, Mars Exploration Program for NASA, reminded me these are not rocket scientists, these are engineers, and they did one uh, heck of a mirroring and making this, uh, this uh, Pathfinder do what it was supposed to do on time, on schedule, without the thing falling apart on the surface of Mars. It has sent a signal back to Earth saying, we're here. Donna Shirley says she's amazed and extremely excited that everything worked. We know that it hit the surface, that it all oh, no. that it's still alive on the surface. And that was the biggest uncertainty as to whether it was going to make it to the surface and hit the surface. That means the parachutes worked, the heat shield worked, the air worked. It all worked. And now all we have to do is settle down and let the barracks, the airbags deflate and uh, open the pedals and uh, it'll all be great. It should, it should just go swimmingly. This was a slow day on Mars for the little rover named Sojourner. Two days ago, it rendezvoused with a rock called Yogi. They seem to have really hit it off because it's been stuck to Yogi ever since. NASA scientists blame a communications glitch and hope to get Sojourner moving again real soon. Minor glitches aside, this has been an amazing week for stargazers, and for Donna Shirley, it's been the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. She set her sights on Mars years ago, and this week, her vision became reality. Here's NBC's Kelly O'Donnell with tonight's look at the American spirit. <laughs> Donna Shirley has been seeing red for a long, long time. I've been trying to get to Mars for 43 years. <laughs> we finally made it. Her dream of reaching the red planet came true when the history-making rover she helped nurture made its first imprint on the planet next door. It was a peak experience. I mean, it was just this uh, real burst of, of feeling and, you know, the, the tight chest and all those things you get. I thought we did first segment here. And attention is one of those things you get. Ah! Donna Shirley is in front of the cameras because she is the one behind the successful mission, in charge of the whole team. You'll spring load that, right, snap so out. At 55, she is a divorced mother and the program manager of the Mars mission. I'm the one that decided the rover was going to be a she. And since the rover team was mostly men, there was some grumbling about that. Aha! Inside the testing lab, Shirley tries out for the first time a new rover scheduled to head for Mars in 2001. But not long ago, the idea that a toy-sized device could even make it to Mars seemed ridiculous to many. But she was a believer. When we first uh, started building this small rover, everybody sneered when we said, well, you can have this kitty car. <laughs> you know, they were, ah, what can it do? What it did has already changed our understanding of Mars. From data sent back 119 million miles, scientists today believe Mars is much more like Earth than ever expected. But for Donna Shirley, having an uncommon vision is nothing new. Raised in the tiny Oklahoma town of Winniewood, her fascination with Mars began with a childhood book. She became a pilot at 15, the only woman in her college engineering class and is the only aerospace engineer ever crowned Miss Winniewood. 
But at NASA, she prefers the title Martian. I don't think she actually got transplanted here from Mars, but uh, she's as close as we've got to a Martian. And she is also a mom. Daughter Laura stopped home from college to check out the rover success and NASA's 3D view of Mars. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Donna Shirley's American spirit has taken us all to new heights. <laughs> Thrilling proof that Mars is indeed within our reach. It's sort of like the day my daughter was born. <laughs> this is something new in the world, something new in the universe. Kelly O'Donnell, NBC News, Pasadena.